Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's see here. Hello. Wow. Okay, so let's just give everyone a few moments to connect. I'm really excited about being here today. I had no intention <laughs> um, until just about 20 minutes ago to connect here live and see how everyone's doing, how everyone's feeling. Um, let's see. Where, where, how can I share this? I have no idea if anyone's here. Let's see. Um, okay. All right. So welcome everyone. My name is Lisa and this is my space here on Facebook, our space, Wisdom of the Heart. And the date is April 16th, Friday, April 16th. And I've been guided to connect and share with all of you today and just check in to see how everyone's feeling, how everyone's doing. Uh, so if you're here, if you're here, say hi, say hi, let me know how you're doing. It's been a really interesting time and for this particular connection, like I said at the beginning, um, I wasn't planning on connecting live today and then all of a sudden I um, received this guidance to connect and check in and share some of what has been coming through uh, and it really is there's a lot of inner child guidance and support and gifts really for us here at this time I just want to make sure I'm not missing comments no I'm not okay um, so we're gonna start with the throat chakra singing bowl just really connecting all of us whenever you're connecting with um, this video, <clears throat> connecting all of us to our heart-centered truth and supporting us in supporting us in feeling stable as the winds of change and the waves of the cosmos roll through and uh, really made this sound support you in coming home to you and your divine truth. really nice. I hope you felt that as well. And as with each um, rotation around um, the rim of the singing bowl, it felt and it has been feeling um, recently because I've been working a lot with sound 
to support myself, uh, to support our home space and to support the collective as all these new energies ground and seek to be um, integrated into the now. And there's something very empowering about this time. I, I hope you're feeling it. I, I know for sure I am. And every day I feel brighter and lighter and more hopeful, more optimistic about um, humanity's, um, I, I don't even want to say it, humanity's experience in the now because this is really bringing us to the beautiful presence of heaven on earth the beautiful presence of sacred community of unity and it's a journey this journey of unity and global healing and global um connections and support like supportive connections is really the solitary journey that each of us walk in our everyday life the things we do for ourselves every single day and since the time of the Aries was it the Aries new moon or was there a full moon around the solstice? Anyways, the uh, since the time, yes, the Aries, the Aries full moon uh, has really. It feels like accelerated things, <laughs> accelerated things. Um, it just feels, you know, twenty twenty. <laughs> it just feels like we've been on this lickety split acceleration for, you know, the better part of a year. <laughs> And it's, you know, we, we must for ourselves, for our sanity, for our peace of mind, for our peace of heart, we must allow space for integration, allow, um, allow time for things to settle. And especially if you have felt for a long time that you were here in service to humanity. This is funny because um, the, this message continues to come up, this idea of art and creativity. Um, and creating something, creating something new, yet something that is very near and dear to you. It, it's creating from your divine truth. And this is where I feel that inner child energy is coming in for all of us now. And, and I feel it's the presence of this inner child, this playful, it's spring here. So, and as you know, my son and I, well, maybe you don't know, my son and I um, moved last fall. And so being in this new space and seeing all, you know, before I would be excited about what was coming up in our backyard and our garden and kind of knew what to expect. This year, it's completely different. I have no idea <laughs> what to expect because uh, I've never, you know, had a spring in this space. And yet it's so beautiful. There's all kinds of forget-me-nots growing up in the middle of the grass. There's tulips everywhere or tulips coming up. There's um, hyacinth. There's uh, daffodils. It, I can see that there's going to be peonies. It's just so beautiful. And I was feeling very excited earlier today to go in um, into the shed and, and dig out um, some of the treasures and the beautiful. Um, you have it set so you can't see. Oh, comments unless it's what? What? Okay, so let's see. Is this different? Tell me, Barb, help, help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I don't know. Only your followers will be able to leave comments every 10 seconds. Uh, okay, so let's go. 
Tell me. Um, I hope that did it. Anyways, I hope that did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something else popped up. Ah! Okay, so, you know, there was this real desire to go and bring out the things that were familiar. Hi, Mary Beth. And hi, Barb. <laughs> um, but, you know, and it was really, it was like the birdhouse that Frank made and that we had birds in for the last two years um and, and to bring that out and the oriole feeder which he was never um in the flesh able to see orioles feeding at it it was a brainstorm idea that he got off of pinterest um i'm not a pinterest person so <laughs> it was one of his pinterest things and the orioles started coming to this feeder after he passed so i really want to put that out here and I've been looking around how I just want to bring our vibe into this new space so that, you know, the creation, the creating can begin in new and expansive ways. And so this uh, art message, uh, the creativity message um, has been coming through strong. And I'm really curious and interested today to see what, um, you know, what the messages actually end up being as they come through, because I was guided to bring out different, um, I can see people now. Hola, hola, hi Allison. Uh, I was guided to bring out some different decks and I really felt that they were connecting. It was all about inner child. And as I was doing it, my fingers were, um, my deck, my cards are all over here and I was standing there and my fingers were like doing this beat on the, on the wall as I was looking. And what I was really feeling guided towards was, um, a fairy and mermaid deck, but they were from a creator who I, um, um, passed on a bunch of the car, those cards, um, years ago so i thought i had kept behind the fairy and mermaids and i can't seem to find it. it i'm sure it's somewhere here but instead of that i was guided to the everyday witch tarot um which felt very playful very very playful like you know the gift of our um there's gifts in our childhood is what i'm hearing and it's really time to bring those allow those gifts to flow forth and guide your present because everything is changing on mother Gaia everything is changing and there's a great excitement that I'm feeling around growing communities like-minded souls and we have for many of us especially in North America for many of us, we've lived really comfortable in being, um, I need my hands for this because I got to do the air quotes. Uh, we've lived really comfortable in being a first, first world continent. Yet, you know, really, really, because I believe that we're beginning to see, and even if, you know, you never saw it before, perhaps now with everything that's beginning to um, <laughs> hit the airwaves, so to speak, uh, is is really reflecting us, uh, uh, well, reflecting to us how misguided we really have been. And the the powers that play, or the powers that feel like they're pulling the strings, my cord of light is connected to source, to God. So I ain't no puppet, and my strings ain't being pulled by anything outside of myself, especially anything not of the light source. So I feel that, um, right, back to basics, absolutely. I've been doing, and this has been a really beautiful practice for me in the last week or so, I started a week or so ago, doing like a foot bath for myself every evening. I take my little foot bath outside and, and sit and watch the sunset. And then I take time to put some, um, rub the soles of my feet, really supporting, uh, because I feel like many of us for <clears throat> quite some time, and for me personally, since December of 2018, it was like, it's been this 27 months 20, now it's almost 28, but it was up to that 27 month point. It was like 
the wind was knocked out of my sails. The, uh, you know, like the roots were ripped up from, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, bring the visual of how I realized that I felt like so completely, um, I don't know if it's floundering or adrift at sea. And so there's this real need right now. And I feel like going through the summer, the spring and summer and into fall of 2021, there's this real need to, as Barb says here, back to basics, back to you, right? Shut off, live your life, live your life. How do we, how do we um, defeat, if you will, evil, the, the, um, the demonic, the, the deceptive forces at play, we live our lives in truth, in harmony with nature. Let's, you know, let's get out there and begin to enjoy each and every day. And, and it's really, it's simple. It's not complicated. It's just the path of peace. It's the path of peace. And that to me is the path of sovereignty. And, you know, for many years, it was very, well, I wouldn't say it was easy for me to uh, walk that path. And yet I have never wavered truly from the eternal truths, the, the source, the creative truths that um, I know and that I know are true for all of us. And so if you have been feeling discombobulated, um, uh, bamboozled, or <laughs> all of those funny, I'm trying to think of funny words. Um, if you feel like you've been tricked by tomfoolery, it's now just time to bring it all back, bring it all back. And, and you know, um, believe in your dreams. So I do feel like the next six month period is, um, uh, the next six month period is helping us to connect with more of our tribe. And I feel like we're going to start seeing, you know, in the Southern border in the United States, we've seen caravans of people for months now, just like making their way into that, um, country. And I, you know, again, I, it's, it really, these, a lot of things that are taking place have been um, deemed political. Well, the political system is bullshit. Excuse my language. It, it's just a, a fraud and it is a system that keeps us, you and I and all of us, in this slave mentality, in this um, divided, we're separate. No, stop it. And so I feel like we're coming to a time where more of us are going to be sharing and speaking out and gathering with our tribe and, and perhaps creating our own caravans and moving around and creating sustainable, not, you know, not like this uh, BS sustainability green plan. It's, it's garbage. It's nonsense and complete garbage. Sorry, I get like so, <laughs> Frank always used to say to me, I thought you weren't political, honey, because um, I get worked up about things because some things are just basic. Some things are just basic, you know, like um, who, who actually decided that they owned land? Who actually decided that? Some white guy? I'm just saying that because uh, what I heard in my head is some old white man decides he owns the land. Well, that's nonsense. That's nonsense. And 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 I feel like in some ways this is like the root of all the um, tomfoolery that is afoot right now. And so the best that we can do is like keep sharing, keep the communication open we can't make decisions for other people we can't choose and do i feel like we're at um i feel like the the puppeteers have created such an environment over the years because it's been happening for years and we've really seen the the um the the brilliance really if you will of that plan and how well it worked because the 
television, which at one time was, oh, you know, it was like a great way, just like the internet. And, it, you know, all of these things have merits, except when they're um, inverted and used against the people. And so this is why it's important that, you know, we stay in our heart space and we stay in our experience because everything at this point in time that is being shown outside of ourselves, I mean, I can't, I, I, I can only imagine what it's going to be like when the masses awake from the hypnosis that they have given their power all away uh, and whether it's consciously or unconsciously it's happened and so uh, for those of us who remain intact and in our um, heart and in our power it's time it's go time for us and it's an exciting time because we have been i, I i'm amazed at how i feel uh, just almost overnight, there was a miraculous shift. And I feel more open than I have in years. And I feel more uh, at peace and supported than I have in years. And I've always felt supported. And I've always felt like open and connected. It's different now. It feels different. I feel different. So that's exciting because, you know, it, it, this is about bringing our dreams to life, bringing our dreams to life in the here and now. And, and now we start um, building. So let's go. We're going to connect back. There's a little something special here that they are wanting me to do today. So I'm going to do the reading and then explain after what they would like me to offer as an extension to this uh, connection. So we're going to pull from the, which deck is this? Oh, it's the Oceanic Tarot. And I really felt that this is the inner child when I was guided to this deck because I couldn't find the fairies, uh, the fairies and unicorns or something like that. Um, anyways, when I was guided to this deck, it really felt like the inner child wanted to um, share the emotion that is coming up now and, and, you know, bring messages through how to navigate uh, what may be very emotional waters for you at this time. So let, whoa, that, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, and there's two more. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Those two are really awesome. Let's see what fell to the floor. Cause I feel that this one is really important for us. This is actually really beautiful. So the first card that recovery. So personally, I have felt for the last three weeks since that Aries full moon, since the time of the equinox, that this has been a period of recovery. And we have been conditioned for so long. And like we were, you know, I even look at my son and he's only 17 years old and I still see him as this, my little boy, he is, he'll always be my little boy. Um, and yet, you know, reflecting back just on his experience, like at how many points in his life was he really guided to, or not guided to, put in a situation where it was really about like growing up, you know? And for all of our kids, it's the same thing for us as kids. It was the same thing, right? This idea that, you know, Childhood was so fleeting and so many of us had traumatic experiences in our childhood um, that, you know, we we grew up way too fast. We saw things we shouldn't have seen. And, and you know, probably by the time we became a teenager, we were participating in things that, you know, teenagers really aren't emotionally um <laughs> mentally, uh, spiritually equipped to deal with. Um, so this feels like right now there is a call and I feel like it's through the sore April, mid April, definitely through, cause we're coming up to eclipses. We got some eclipses, uh, at the end of May and in June, June 10th. I remember that cause it was my grandmother's birthday. So that feels really important to me with respect to the divine feminine and the matriarchal energy. We'll get to that. I'm sure as we get closer to that. 
But the message is right now is like, don't be, a, I'm hearing, don't a, be a prisoner of your mind, of your thoughts. Allow the sword of truth, allow Archangel Michael's sword of truth to cut away. And we've been having lots of fog here. I don't know if you guys, wherever you are, if you've been experiencing a lot of fog. We've had a lot of fog and I like fog. Um, it can be like kind of spooky sometimes, but it can also, it's also quite mystical and magical. And so it's like the, allow the brain fog to clear. We've also been having a lot of no fog. <laughs> I'm in, um, I'm on the shores of Lake Ontario and we've had pretty drastic temperature changes. Like we'll go from um, 20 degrees, so we do Celsius here. So we went from 20 degrees Celsius, which I believe is around 70 um, Fahrenheit. And then the next day was like three, which is, you know, 33. <laughs> so um, just like drastic changes. And we've had incredible winds. And what I have, as I've been connecting with the winds these days, there's been this um, energy of the ancestors moving through. Spirit speaks to us through the wind. This is how we breathe in spirit also, right? So, oh, nice, deep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Yeah, crazy wind. It, it, you know, it's one, I sleep with a window open in my room. And uh, it was like I was in a wind tunnel one night. It was just like whipping through. Um, it, and I, I like it because it feels like, yes, howling wind. I love it. We're all feeling that. And so this is, you know, this is support for all of us. These things that we're feeling, uh, these elements that we're connecting with, like the winds and the water and, the, um, you know, the earth. This is how we stay connected to one another and support one another. I've been spending a lot of time um, walking. So I probably walk about two hours a day and um, broken up into two sessions. And I've also like through those walking, I've been spending more time. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've been spending more time down by the lake, exploring new areas uh, down by the lake. And I went to my old space where um, I hung out for 17, 18 years, well, 17 years and did sort of, um, uh, well, I did a ceremony there and it was almost felt like closure, uh, in a certain way a turning of the page. And so now off on new adventures and I, on one of the new adventures this week, I encountered a beaver. <laughs> it's, I shared the YouTube video on this channel, uh, on my page, Wisdom of the Heart. Check it out. The thing was, he didn't even notice me, or if he did, he just kept walking like he would, could have cared less that I was right there getting closer, filming him. Um, and, and, you know, there was a message that came through with that beaver. It's like, you know, keep, uh, it almost felt a little bit like turtle and uh, medicine, like slow and steady wins the race, you know, just keep building and you know if a storm has moved through your life that has um, crumbled the den <laughs> or the den's been blown over it's now time to um, create your new den your new nest okay so then the other two cards <laughs> are really beautiful um, a wish and a new beginning so we have the fool and the nine of cups and I'm hearing wish fulfillment. And this is what is going back. Like, this is why I feel the inner child energy is key here right now. It's like going back in time, going back in time and remembering. And this is what my hand, my hands were doing on the wall. It's almost like reestablishing your connection with your inner rhythm, with your own heartbeat right and and it's funny when you connect with nature that um inner beat inner rhythm becomes more at ease okay so i f and i feel this is the gift it's like dive in and dive in you know we we were told to grow up grow up so fast 
you know, or, or maybe we weren't told, maybe we just, you know, believed that we had to grow up or, or our experience was as such that we did grow up um, faster than, you know, um, is ideal for each stage of development of a child. Now I hear though, it is time to, um, you know, for me, I'm 50, I'll be 51 on my next birthday. And it's like, now I get to, now I'm back at the um, uh, root chakra, you know, raising our own vibra vibrations, <laughs> vibrations, vibrations, um, yes, like raising our own vibration with play, however that looks. And for me, it's like, you know, getting my feet on the ground and, um, you know, laying on the earth. Those are the kind of things. And this fool, the fool, I'm I'm hearing um Heyoka, you know, the sacred fool, the the jester, <laughs> the jester. Um, you know, having fun with life again. Because I can tell you, I don't care what people say, there haven't been a lot of people having a lot of fun in the last year and most have been unwilling to dive into their emotions their emotions we've been seeing um repressed emotions manifesting as anger and disdain in the last year that's how it's come out right nobody nobody can do their own thing <laughs> nobody nobody can, you know it feels like in here in in the province that i live in we're back into our third lockdown. They're talking about a curfew and I'm like, what the heck? Are we back in preschool? <laughs> like, I'm 50 years old. And, and the guy that's making the rules and a lot of people that are making the rules, I can assure you, on a physical level and quite possibly on an emotional and spiritual level as well, I'm much more healthy than any of them. Like, I haven't seen anyone up there speaking to me truly about health, <laughs> you know, like, you know, taking care of the physical body, getting enough sunshine, right? Getting enough rest, getting enough water. I haven't seen this. I've seen so much though, unresolved emotional pain coming to the surface as anger and it's gonna amp up US and Canada. It's amping up, folks, and we can sit back and feel like, oh, we're on this side or that side. I can tell you, my friends, if you're still taking sides and you're not centered in yourself and your vision for Mother Earth and humanity and your children and grandchildren, take some time. <laughs> take some time. Dive. If you're pissed off and ticked off about other people's right to choose, you know, um, there's a problem. There's a problem. And it, let's not make it our problems. It's not like take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for your health. Right? Stand. Stand in your um Stand confidently in your, uh, um, I keep seeing the strength card, you know, with the lion and, and the goddess. So, yeah, have, oh my gosh, thanks for bringing that up, Barb. Thanks for bringing that up. Have you ever, like, can you believe how much propaganda a pandemic, a pandemic needs? Here, our government is just burning through the people's money, right? Our tax dollars, burning through it with commercials on TV. I mean, they're really pumping adult uh, immunization, right? Most of us adults, we were finished being immunized in our youth, right? Now they're, oh my God, for everything, herpes, I mean, hemorrhoids, we may as well. Herpes, hemorrhoids, uh, uh, chicken pox, shingles. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. At what point? 
I mean, you know, this is the thing too. A lot of people get upset about, um, uh, you know, it, it's funny because certain things, certain health um, supplements and stuff aren't allowed into Canada. If you're, you can't order from a company in the States because uh, they're not, things aren't approved to, to come through here. And uh, <laughs> stay strong. I mean, such BS. It's fun. It, it, I mean, it's gotten to the point, it's funny. And this is why it's really important for us to, uh, at this point in time, uh, and at this point in time, we're not going to change anyone's mind, you know, whether they want to get injected or don't want to get injected. We're not going to change anyone's mind. I'm really sick and tired of the virtue signaling. I posted a meme on my personal page today and uh, it was basically like the one guy says, oh, I had a prostate exam today. And, and then the woman said, oh, I my boob got squished while I was having a mammogram exam today. And then someone else said something, I can't remember what it was. And then mine in the comments was like, oh, I had some hemorrhoids removed today. What a, you know, relief. Like, since when did we all start announcing our status as anything? You see where this divides though, right? This is the same thing that they do with the color issue, the gender. Um, you know, narrative. This is what they do. It's division and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it's time more of us started to say how ridiculous it is. And this is why I feel over the next six months, we will be gathering with more of our soul tribe. We will be making plans because I do feel like there will be mass movement of people by choice um, from countries from, look, we got the fool again. We got the fool again from the, this is the everyday witch tarot. So this is the amplification of this energy of new beginnings, walking forward free. And and really there's, I've been speaking with um, my friends um, and, and Barb being one of them um, a lot recently about this need for protection. And and not, not to say that like, you know, I'm not, scared of anything. We are in a spiritual, it, it's this battle, light and dark, good versus evil, right? It's actually more good versus evil, righteous versus evil than anything else. And there are, you know, there are things that we do that we participate in, whether it's, you know, um, addiction, energy, alcohol, drugs, food, uh, sex, uh, you know, all those things that tend to be lower vibe. And if we are partaking in those things, we are opening ourselves up. I mean, most of us are probably depending on our lifestyle and whether you eat meat or not. Many, many people are walking around with parasites, right? But they don't talk to us about that. You know, the health experts don't talk to us about how we can keep our body a well, you know, intelligent machine. You know, it's consciousness, it's source consciousness. Our body is created uh, from source consci consciousness. And when, um, what do we want to call it? The traditional medicine. So traditional medicine is the medicine of the original people, medicine from the land, the plant medicine. We call big pharma, traditional medicine. And so you can see how they've flipped. Like this is just another of the many inversions, right? In this, what, where we're currently living. Eh, eh, most things are flipped and we're here to flip it back. That's why we came, that's why we're here. And, you know, let's be clear. This is the start of a whole new, um, I'm hearing this is the start of a whole new year. Um, and this is the start of a whole new um, frequency being um, brought to life through each of us here on Mother Gaia. Um, and what am I seeing? Oh, that's a hawk in there. A couple hawks, you know, seeing this from a higher perspective. Don't really, there's no point. I've had some people who really wanted to like have a go at me. Um, <laughs> because they thought that they 
knew, you know, uh, certain things and, and it wasn't quite right. And honestly, I'm not really interested in um, fighting with anyone. Uh, and I'm also not going to accept or tolerate disrespect because everyone deserves whichever side of the spectrum <laughs> you feel like you land. Everyone is worthy and deserving of respect and the level of oh, just yeah, yeah. That's what 2020 was. It was just ill and it got worse through and here around here. It's like, <laughs> that's why that's why I'm creating this whole space as our nest because, you know, it's it's like the twilight zone out there, even in nature. It is pretty twilight zoney these days. It's weird. And quite honestly, uh, thanks to the government, I don't feel a lot safer. <laughs> I don't feel a lot safer out there and I'm sure there's many women and I feel as women and children we're not safer than we were a year ago. In fact, many are in much more uh, unsafe situations. Think about that one. So the next card that we got out is this Three of Cups and what I'm feeling here is throat, heart and solar plexus chakra coming online and you really... Um, it's like, I feel for many, I, the solar plexus area is really sticking out for me, um, jumping out. It's this uh, recalling, restoring your power to you. And, and again, this is the gift of the inner child, emotional balance. Uh, there is this real presence of divine feminine, um, divine feminine energy and uh, cats. And so I'm feeling like this independence, um, playful spirit, the purity of your heart, allowing the purity of your heart um, to lead the way and really extracting, extracting as much joy as possible in every day. And I'm, I'm feeling like the balance of the yin and yang is through the emotional body. Okay, so one more from this deck. Hello, Peggy. Okay. Oh, and then this is another beautiful message to get. We have temperance, number 14. Patience, right? Why are we rushing? Just as I was mentioning earlier about the child, we rush them to grow up and all of a sudden they're grown up, you know, and not really equipped because we rushed them or they were rushed through circumstances through the experience of being a child and so this really is speaking to that coming back to ourselves that coming back to being the center point it, this isn't about sides anymore uh, well it is because it is about you know if let's it's good versus evil <laughs> it's good versus evil it's like um um Lucifer and uh, God, really. And it's up to us like to align with our truth. And, and when aligned with our truth, remember, it's about do no harm. Do no harm to ourselves, do no harm to others. And if we are imposing our will, this is where I was feeling that solar plexus chakra, which is home of free will, personal choice. If we're imposing our will on others, which we have seen on a, a global scale in 2020, um, we, we're really misguided. <laughs> we're really misguided and not spirit guided. We're ego driven, right? And that's not cool. And don't impose your, <laughs> um, don't impose your um, belief system, your your feelings or thoughts or anything on me like we can have a conversation about it we can be respectful and share uh, from I'll share with you from a heart space do not uh, like I said this idea of curfew and stuff here where I live it's like well, what are we in you know preschool knock it off knock it off knock it off I haven't needed uh, you know I've been out on my own since I was 20, paying my bills, doing my thing. I really don't need the government. They haven't been doing a lot for me, right? <laughs> like, honestly, 
and since when is that what government's role was, right? And and to use taxpayers' money to, you know, uh, feed feed a particular agenda or narrative is not cool either. So this is why we're going to be moving a lot and seeing a lot of people gathering with like-minded individuals, growing our own food. I mean, it's so cool. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, you know, and, and yet it takes time, right? It does take time. And we are moving in the right direction. Those of us that are um, more envisioning a 5D reality um, connected with our multi-dimensional um, aspects of self, um, really connected to the earth and stuff we are. This is what we came for. We came for um, to give birth to a new reality. And this paradigm shift is going to take, um, you know, many uh, generations. It's going to take many generations. We are just the beginning. And, and you know, it's been going on for probably, well, you know, maybe two generations now or so. So temperance, be patient, um, be observant. I'm hearing to observe more than um, speak. Heart energy again, and they keep taking me back to this protection. I had been mentioning that um, before. So it's not that we're not safe, although, you know, I don't feel like, uh, anyways. On a spiritual level, this is what they're talking about, this protection. It's on a spiritual level. So we can protect ourselves just through um, the colors that we wear. Black. Black is a really great color to um, deflect uh, energy away from you. And I've been really working a lot with um, Source and Archangel Michael to um, making sure that the home space is... Um, safe and protected uh, as well as myself when I'm out there and I really feel it you know like as much as it feels like collectively so many people feel unsafe and you know I'm not really impressed with the role I seem to have um, found myself in right now where people look at me with my maskless face like I'm a hazard to society that's really disheartening folks I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's just really disheartening. So be mindful of what you're putting out there. Uh, and more important for us, those of us who are awake. No. Okay. So for this next part, there's going to be, um, I was really guided to work with, uh, again, the ancestors supporting the inner child in um, bringing to life their dreams in the here and now. So I was guided to the Sacred Path um, Oracle cards. And they are a beautiful deck that really uh, I have worked with for years and actually haven't really actively worked with probably in a couple of years now. Um, but previous to that, I worked with these a lot in um, moon circles and goddess circles that I would host or facilitate online or in person. And this was really for those who wanted to dive deeper <clears throat> into their healing, into their healing, and to do so from the wisdom of the original people of the land, particularly here in North America. And like I said, in North America, we've always really kind of, we've never, we, we've always just blindly accepted what has been shown to us on TV about what's happening around the world in other places, particularly the Middle East and um, third world countries and stuff. We always see from a televised perspective what's happening. Um, how much of that has been true? Well, you know, again, we've been fed the truth that fits the um, narrative for um, whoever's that guy pulling the strings that we talked about earlier. So basically, I don't feel like we've been told truth about much of anything. And it's up to us to take that journey deeper within to uncover and discover truth. And, and you know, I feel that when um, there is mass disclosure of many things, many people are not going to be able to 
um, handle it. Um, it's just going to be so horrific uh, for them. And which is why I feel it's been a slow drip process because many of us have been in the know of, you know, um, things like um, SRA and, and, and different things for many years and, and trafficking, human trafficking, all these um, really big um, issues. I mean, I've said for years that ped pedophilia rules the world. Um, and it's the dark underbelly of society. And I stand by that and behind that and to the side of that statement still to this day. And this is a part of the energy that is going to um, be cleansed from this, this realm, which is why it's important that we keep our vibe high because there's a lot of darkness leaving, um, leaving the earth at this time. So long story short, I'm going to share these two cards that have come from the Sacred Path Oracle. I'm going to share my intuitive feelings about them with you. Um, and then we're going to end this video. If you are interested in diving in deeper to the teaching of these two cards, I am going to make that available through donation for $11 and 11 cents. Okay. And um, I will put a link in the comments here that can be sent through my PayPal or, or e-transferred to my email address. And then you will get a link to the teachings and a little more in depth with um, these two messages. So from our ancestors, the two cards that came through, you'll love the numbers, I do. Two and one. Good old Frank, my 21. Um, and it's the first one that came out was the sweat lodge. This is a time of purification. This is a time for us to, um, you know, that, that old proverb or healer heal thyself. This is that time. This is that time. And I'm not sure if any of you, uh, can sense or feel or see the difference in myself in a short period of time um this is happening all over the place for so many of us and i am grateful grateful to be on the other side because it feels like if we were born for these times and so we must purify so as i mentioned i've been doing foot baths every day doing a lot of um i've been putting sesame oil on my feet um uh, what else have I been doing? I have been, oh, juicing like crazy, pineapple and turmeric. I've been making lots of smoothies. I've been eating a lot more greens, um, lots and lots of water and herbal teas, just really giving our body some support. Here in my um, town, yeah, we've had so many chemtrails, so many chemtrails in the last couple of weeks. And this is where we've seen those major um, fluctuations in temperature. Um, you know, the sun will be out shining, it's 20 degrees. And then uh, starting usually in the morning, um, the chemtrails will start and they will pick up through the day. And then they will start again as the sun's beginning its descent in the sky. And I find that on those days, it's much more important for water, it's much more important to really, um, you know, as much as you would think not to be outside, uh, I feel like it's important for me to work with my singing bowls outside and to visualize that, you know, what is it, barium and aluminum and who knows what else, to really visualize anything and anything there that is not of the light being transformed instantly and, um, showering upon humanity as droplets of love and insight and light to support the awakening. Um, so, you know, doing what you can to support your cleanse. If you can get to a sweat lodge, uh, I've done a few in my time and they are absolutely amazing um, experiences. 
I'm feeling stay in the purity of your heart. I'm seeing the high priestess card, medicine, like a medicine woman standing on your own two feet, standing in your power um, and, and going into the fire, feeling the heat and allowing the heat to transform, uh, to transform. Uh, actually, they're saying to me to allow the heat to remove anything that is hindering your heart's desire allow the 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 heat the flame to um burn that away so that what remains is the passionate the compassionate the loving um power of your heart okay and the next card is the uh, pipe card and I feel the presence of white buff buffalo calf, calf woman when I connect with this card. This is the path and we are here. Those of you who uh, are connected with and resonate with anything I say, you are here on the path of the peaceful warrior. Um, and uh, the book, Dan Millman, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Um, great little book, easy read. If you haven't read it yet, I'd say read the book over the movie any day. I know a lot of people watch the movie and probably thought, oh, this is great, or oh, it's not so great. The book was a phenomenal little story. That and The Alchemist would be two of my favorite little fables. Um, oh, and God on a Harley, that was a good one too. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is about, you know, as I was saying, gathering our tribe, gathering with our community, um, sitting, you know, passing the pipe of peace, everyone sharing their peace, everyone breathing in the same air and really connecting with the spirit that moves through us um, and uh, through the air, through the wind. Um, the the word on the words on this card are prayer and inner peace praying i've been praying a lot more um more than i have in a long time <clears throat> and i've been talking a lot more to god and my angels and and uh frank and yeah i do hear him talk <laughs> yeah i do he does talk back to me i'm not making it up he really does so if you'd like some more in depth, and if we look at this like 21, um, you know, the world, this is an uprising. You know, we all descended here to earth from the spiritual realms to rise up again, to rise up in our divine power, our restored divine power through unconditional love it's the 12 o'clock hour and we can do this otherwise we wouldn't be here so let's get one final message from the angels like i said if you are interested thanks frank uh i know i think of every day um if you're interested in a deeper dive into these two messages again um, eleven dollars and eleven cents. I probably should have made it twelve twenty one, but uh, they said eleven eleven at the time. So eleven dollars and eleven cents. Um, hi! Oh my God! I love you, Jennifer and Mary Beth and Barb and Allison and oh my gosh, who else was here? Uh, oh my gosh! Frank is the best. Frank is super duper. He knows it too. And he's like, oh my God, he thought he had a little, we used to say he used to have a little harem at work with all the women he worked with and always were fawning all around him. Um, <laughs> so if he could see his harem now, he sees it and he's happy. He likes what he sees. So um, anyways, if you're interested in the extended teachings, as soon as this video is up here, I will drop the link there um, and I'm going to record the extended for that. Um, so, 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 so let's see one final message from our angels. Just, uh, uh, okay. They want those two. So, ah, oh, of course this makes so much sense. So 
Our angels want us to know our path forward to create, abundantly create what we're here to create is joy. Our path is joy. I know it's so simple, right? This is the inner child energy. And that's what I mean. If we can do that deep dive and face or just face what's coming up for us at this time, it is like the inner child who wants um, you to remember, even if it was just like a little brief moment in time to remember what you wanted to be and do when you were that beautiful, um, holy child, you know, before life, uh, happened <laughs> and, um, you had to grow up. There's a gift there for us. There's a gift there and it's the path of joy the path of least resistance. It is the path forward and it's creating, right? And we do this and, and, and this has been coming up fairly regularly too, through forgiveness. It's important to forgive ourselves for what we didn't know. It's important to forgive those who we feel have done us wrong. And in many cases we have um, been harmed and done wrong by others. No doubt about it. I mean, I would say there's the rare human alive who hasn't had that feeling, right? It's not to sit in it, not to sit in it. It's like to face it, right? And to truly offer forgiveness. And I feel that forgiveness begins with ourself. Forgiveness begins with us, right? What do you need to forgive yourself for? And that, you know, it may take a while of sitting with that because it's, you know, it doesn't, it, but, you know, there's healing in your truth. There's healing in the acknowledgement of your truth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we do have this. We do have this. The purity of our heart, the passion that burns within <coughs> the inner desires those are the way those are the way for oh <laughs> those are the way forward speaking truth sharing your truth allowing everything to filter from the heart who has the same birthday do we have the same birthday jennifer because me and frank have the same birthday Oh my gosh, who has the same birthday? So exciting. <laughs> um, follow your truth. Follow your truth. Let your heart lead the way. Let your heart lead the way. Find your joy. Extract your joy. Your medicine. Your joy is your medicine in each and every day. And forgive the past. Forgive um, those who were a part of your past. Forgive them, forgive yourself and move along, move along. You are so supported, we are so loved. Thank you all so much um, for being here. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you for all your comments. I'm gonna go back and read them all. I think I caught most of them as they were coming. Again, if you would like to dive in deeper with me into the teaching, um, of these, this medicine, then there will be a link here, $11 and 11 cents gets you the deeper dive. So until next time, everyone, I trust that you're going to do what you feel guided to do today to support your shine, your thrive and your ability to joyfully live your best life. I see you. I feel you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jennifer and Mary Beth have the same birthday. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just, oh, that's so cool. Awesome. I love you both. So that's super cool. Anyways, thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.